Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Started From The Bottom here with Gateshead. Today we're going to be taking on Tremier and North Ferriby in the Vanarama National League, which we are still top of by a considerable margin. I mean, I've already mentioned the fact that if we, you know, continue this, we're going to go wire to wire, which would be amazing. And I'm not back for these two games yet. That's going to be tomorrow's episode because I need to get two episodes done today because I'm going cycling over the weekend and I'm leaving tomorrow. So I just, I'm just going to do these four in a row. Uh, in terms of since the last game, we've won 2-1 against Macclesville, 2-2 against Sutton, and 3-1 against Woking. Uh, nothing too special there. Moore's back. I don't think he scored since he got back. He hadn't been back for very long, though. So where am I going here? There, there we go. Um, I could just click the schedule button anyway. I don't think he scored. No, he just came back in that game. So, yeah. Anyway, in terms of the team today against Tremere, uh, we've had to rotate the squad a little bit because uh, there were two days in between games. So, yeah. Uh, Barkworth has to come in for Smith, Manny Smith. And uh, Wes York's having to come in for Ajala. Uh, Moore's back. And what was the other one? There was another one. Oh, McLaughlin's in. But at this point, he's almost sharing stuff with... He's pretty much sharing his duties with... Uh, uh, Matort. How do I forget his name? He's one of our best players. Anyway, Wes York's struggling for match fitness... Uh, of course, we're, well, I say of course, they're in second place, which is the reason I'm deciding to do this game. I say of course we're favorites. Uh, yeah, that's not, not really the case. So we could go even further ahead here in the league. And we were already attacking, but that didn't come of anything. We need to just go ahead and get these goals in early so we don't have to worry about fitness all that much. I apologize if you can hear that dog barking across the street. Very annoying. And uh, they're actually through here if it can't score. I feel like the keeper could have held that. But anyway. We do actually have a new keeper on trial to be the backup, but really, if you think about it, if we go, I say if we go up, when we go up, uh, you know, our, our starting keeper is probably going to be our backup keeper because he's just not good enough for the next level. He's one of the players that'll struggle a little bit. Not a whole lot going on here. Just three shots in the whole game. Not two for us. Well, and four shots. Uh, thanks for proving me wrong, game. Loves to do that. We could actually go 19 points clear here, <laughs> which is kind of ridiculous to think about. And I mean, 19 points is insane. We have to win, which considering Moore's through on goal here, I can't score. <laughs> I was about to say, considering he's through on goal here seems pretty likely, but not the case. Got a corner here, though, that Smith is about to whip in towards Atkinson. He couldn't quite get his foot through it. Barkworth crossing out of Mafuda, who tries to get it to Moore, but can't do it. Phillips picks it up, but nothing comes of it. Now they're on the attacker. That's a dangerous ball in, and Phillips completely screwed that up. I mean, does he get, like, an own goal assist for that? Because I feel like he kind of deserves it. Oh, well. We've been down at halftime recently, so I'm just going to yell at him a little bit. There we go. I need to go ahead and make some subs too. I'm just going to go ahead and make a triple change. Which I might regret later, but... Mm. Nah, that's not going to work. Okay. Where's Barkworth? And then Manny Smith can come on. And then we have another center back that's tired, of course. And the left back, we got nothing. I'm going to move McLaughlin up to... That's playmaker, and then I'm going to put on Jack McCord. There we go. 
That's arguably our best team on the field there, because McLaughlin is amazing as a center attacking mid. He just doesn't naturally play there, so I'm kind of hesitant to put him up there. But We're attacking again here with McLaughlin out of McCourt, who gets fouled. It's a penalty to us. Moore is going to step up to take that yellow card for their player as well. I don't think I've, oh no, I have seen Moore miss a penalty already, so, I mean, I guess there's not that pressure on him. And he scores it as usual. That's, that was a really good, that's his 18th goal of the season as well. But, if, you know, if he hadn't gotten injured, I'm sure he'd have more. Yep, great penalty. So that puts us 17 points clear. I think I'm right there. 17? Yep. Yeah. Right? Yeah, 17. Which, which is still a ridiculous amount. I mean, when it was at 14, I was thinking, oh, it's getting a little close, but not really. We could go ahead and snatch this. That'd be nice, though. McCourt on the ball now. Just running around him like it's they're not even there. Passes out to Wrightson, who plays it to Barkworth, up to McLaughlin, who plays it to Smith. Can he get the ball in? He can't, and the defender kind of struggled to deal with that and just clears it straight to Barkworth. And McLaughlin, I think that hit off Barkworth and went to Smith. That was interesting. Anyway, Moore has it now. Plays it through to McCourt, who skies it. Oh, man, he should just put that across goal. Do what they tell you as kids and put it across goal. It's not that difficult. Players are really starting to get tired here, especially George Smith. As I try and put my screw my drink cap back on on the other side of the microphone, so we can't pick any of that up. By the way, Coca-Cola, if you want to sponsor me, I'll, I'll take it. Looks like we're going to get a 1-1 draw here, which isn't that bad, really. Because the team was so tired since we had played, you know, two days before. Just the one day of rest. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's just unfortunate, really. So next game is going to be against North Ferriby, who are 21st. So we should really be winning that. But if you notice the teams that we, drew, that we draw and lose against, I mean, you can kind of see that they're all kind of terrible, except for, you know, the... Occasional like draw against Tremere, which I think is the only one. Actually, we drew against Barrow as well. The Telford aren't very good. Uh, Chester aren't all that good. Dagenham and Redbridge are awful. We lost to them. Aldershot aren't all that good, and Sutton United were are fairly low on the table as well. I think. If I could see, there they are, down in seventeenth. So uh, I will see you in the next game against North Ferriby. So we are back here for the game against North Ferriby. Uh, team is pretty much the first team. McCourt comes back. York still has to play. But other than that, it's fine. Yeah, uh, Ajala's injury, by the way. He's out for three to four weeks with a pulled hamstring. And uh, Niall Bell got injured, which is the whole reason Monzel Moore actually had to be rushed back a little. He's out for another two to three weeks with a dislocated jaw, which sounds incredibly painful. Anyway, let's get into this. We're big favorites because they're in 21st. <laughs> I mean, we really should be. I feel like we've already played North Faraby, but we're playing them again. I forgot about that, actually. That we, We've already seen them once. And we were attacking straight off the kickoff there, but it uh, didn't come to anything. But Smith is out wide here, plays it into rights into Moore. McCourt now, York. Moore could have just turned and shot there, but York still has it. Plays it through to Moore, who scores his first goal back after being injured. And now... Never mind, there was the penalty, but that's, I mean, first goal from open play. That works, right? And uh, currently 19 points clear. Just saying. Is that through the legs from York there? That's impressive. We can't play a bad winger. It seems impossible. Look 
how bad Morkum have been since we beat them. I mean, when I say that, they're they're actually joint third and only one point behind second. But they've dropped down into fourth. It shows you how close it is behind us. But uh, obviously, we're kind of runaway leaders. Can we force a mistake out of their defense here? We cannot, but the ball is not very good. But uh, Smith actually gets tackled there. And what's Thompson in behind him? He kind of forgot where he was there. Thompson shoots, but Hanford makes an amazing save to keep it 1-0. And they have a corner here that shouldn't come to anything. It doesn't. And uh, as Francis kicked the ball away there, uh, we're actually in the process of getting a Newcastle player on loan that is a midfielder and attacking midfielder. Uh, Francis will probably still start ahead of him, but we just don't have an attacking mid, and he's actually really good, too. He might even be better than Francis, but Francis, I mean, he's he's our player, so of course I'm going to favor him over a lone player. But we just don't have any backup other than McLaughlin, who can't really play there. So, it'll be nice to have that little bit of depth. As the keeper just completely screws up that clearance, <laughs> gives it straight back to us. McCourt has it now, plays more through who scores off the keeper. I feel like there was probably a better way of finishing that. That is his 20th goal of the season. I mean, imagine if we didn't have him. I mean, we would we would be in trouble. We'd only have nine goal difference. Of course, you would have to assume that the striker in his place, which would be Bell, would actually score some. And I was curious, because I was looking at Gateshead's actual team. Can I, can I click on more? No. Let me try this. There we go. He's not actually there. I guess the AI signed him, and they did one heck of a job, even though he wasn't really scoring last season. But uh, that's a smart purchase. Yeah, because he's actually still at Charlton. So that was interesting, I, I thought. I got really confused, too, because I just assumed he was part of the team. Just about everybody else is, though, other than the people I've signed. The majority of people are actually at Gateshead, who were, like, mid-table in the in the National League. I'm pretty sure at best mid-table. I can't quite remember where they were, but I mean, you know, a season later we've got them into first, so <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, they should probably just hire me. I mean, really? I, I feel like I could probably get them promoted. Uh, don't get complacent. Yeah, you're amazing. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I'm very happy. Yeah, no, he's just confused. Good. It's better for them to be confused than confused and demotivated. He's on an 8.7 right now more. I mean, that's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Uh, nobody's actually below a 6.8 apart from Wrightson, who's on a 6.5. Wrightson is really inconsistent. And they just scored on us. That's that's nice. They're uh, injured striker. Reese Thompson. Okay. Wrightson's down a 6.4. I'm really considering taking him off. He's very inconsistent. Anyway, Moore now tries to shoot. I don't know if that was the chance. I get the feeling it's not as Farabee come forward here. I wonder if North Farabee fans get offended by me calling them Farabee. Is there a South Farabee that they have a rivalry with or something? I don't know. Anyway, they are attacking here. Thompson's through, but that's a great block. I couldn't quite see who did that. It was it was between Manny Smith and um, Atkinson. And that is a poor corner cleared by the second man as opposed to the first. The cross back end isn't a whole lot better. I'm assuming that's not the American, anyway. It was just on the ball there. I'm going to make some subs. Uh, I don't want to take McCord off, but I probably should, and McLaughlin's pretty good anyway. And uh, I don't want to make a triple change yet, so I'm going to put on Barkworth there. Apologize if you can hear all that. There's a UPS truck going by, and the dog is barking at it. That's about the worst thing you want when you're recording a video. <laughs> anyway. That does mean that the UPS truck's going to go by again. So, yeah, just don't be alarmed when you hear that. I wish that dog would shut up. I, I hope you can't hear that, because he's the most annoying dog, and he barks all day at nothing. 
Anyway, we're on the attack here. Can't quite get the cross in, but Mahuda picks it back up, plays it out wide to Phillips. <laughs> and I, I think some dust or something just blew down my throat, but York's throw and can't quite score. Ah. What is that? <laughs> Don't mind me. Yeah, I got a little bit of dust or something just went down my throat. Okay, that's unpleasant. As their keeper collects the corner. And Wrightson's injured. That's exactly why I didn't uh, make that third sub. We're kind of struggling in the wide areas now. I mean, at this point, we have two backups in. Of course, Wes York is uh, is uh, arguably a backup. He's kind of he started the first part of the season, and then Ajala got good. Ajala actually came second in like player of the month last month in December. So, I mean, I think it was probably a good choice to play him, but now he's injured, so I have no choice. Anyway, we're attacking again here. Sprays it out wide to Johnson. Johnson now puts the ball across, but nobody's there. Moore picks it up out wide. I don't know why he went for that, but crosses it into nobody. Phillips does have it now, though. Gives it to McLaughlin. Puts it back to Phillips. Into York, who gives it to McLaughlin, and Francis can't quite get through, and I didn't realize that was the end of the game. I was commentating that like that was a legit chance. Anyway, good win. Good job holding on. I didn't realize the game was almost over. And that is actually the last game. There's the UPS truck. That's actually the last game of this episode. And unfortunately, Wrightson's out four weeks, but he hasn't been playing that good anyway. Uh, Moore played an 8.8, .8, two goals. 0% tackles, but who cares? He's a striker. So next episodes, as I mentioned earlier, is going to be Brackley and Dagenham and Redbridge because I need to get two videos out <laughs> uh, pretty much today. And uh, also within the next, you know, an hour and 15 minutes or so. So <laughs> I'll try my best. So I will see you in the next game.